Yes, yes, guys, it's Nelly Last, and welcome. In this video, what we're going to be doing is another stealth class setup video where we're mainly focusing around the ghost perk and how best to use it effectively in Black Ops 3. And this time, guys, we are going to be using the Vespa. Now, as we know, with the particular Vespa, it has been nerfed to death since the latest patch. It really, really has. And for me personally, this is probably one of the hardest actual um, stealth classes I actually put together and actually want to go and use. It doesn't really, for me personally, work quite as well as things say like the CUDA and the VMP, but no. Nevertheless, it does work okay. You just have to keep it very, very tight in close quarters because anything up to medium ranges in general is very, very hard to put people down. It really, really is. So let's just jump into the kind of attachments that we've got. We've got the suppress, obviously, as you're seeing there, just to keep us off that mini map. Then we're going to be going with extending bags because, as we know, with one thing with the Vespa, it just runs through its bullets in no time. If you're going to come across two, three enemies at once, you're going to need to have extended mags on so you don't have to worry about reloading. Then we're going to be going with long. Long barrel. Now, I don't normally stick on long barrel on too many of my classes when I'm running a suppressor, but with this particular gun, the range is very, very poor, and if you don't stick it on, you're really going to be struggling. You really are. So for me, even though it doesn't add that many meters onto the actual range, it is pretty much essential when you're actually running with this gun. Then we're going to be moving on to grip. That's the last attachment that we're going to be sticking on, because as we know, the recoil has been quite bad with this particular weapon now, especially when you're shooting out to those medium to long ranges. So for me, grip is very, very very essential to be sticking on there so there's absolutely no room for me personally in a stealth class for quick draw or stock which is a little bit of a problem i like to run with at least one or the other but for me personally the way this fire rate on this gun actually works you have to be leaving it out just to make room for those particular perks that we're going to be using and obviously we're going to be running with ghosts obviously this is based what the series is mainly based around then for perk number two, we are going to be going with Scavenger. Now, if we're going to go on one of those long scoring streaks and stuff like that, one thing that you're going to be needing to be for sure is Scavenger. Because with this weapon, as we said before, it's going to burst through the bullets in absolutely no time whatsoever. Now, that in turn, when you're sticking on a suppressor on this particular weapon, if you're trying to shoot out to those medium to long ranges, you find that you're cycling through bullets at a really, really, really fast rate. So you're just going to burn through them. And what I found personally for me is even when I was trying to stick on fast hands and things like that, it just did not work out whatsoever. Just ran out of bullets constantly. So this is definitely a bit of a much of a given. And then we're going to be moving on to perk number three. And in perk number three, we have dead silence. Now this is mainly because we're going to be running around the map. We're trying to get there and in and out as fast as we possibly can. Trying to get up into the enemy spawn. So we want our footsteps to be silent just so that they uh, give us the best chance that they can actually hear us coming. Now in regards to that, one thing I would suggest you definitely not ought to be doing is trying to do two much boosting or jumping or anything else like that you do not want to be caught, caught out in open areas you want to be as stealthy as possible if you're using this particular class you know you want to keep your boots on the ground keep running that way otherwise you can quite easily get caught up but like i say this particular class does work but it is a lot lot harder to use um, compared to things like the CUDA and other things like that. It really, really does lack in certain departments. But for me, after all the things that I've actually tried out, this is definitely the best kind of way to go with the staff class. As you're seeing coming up on the screen now is the actual class setup. So pause it. Go and stick this in your creator class. Go give it a go. It can be a little bit more frustrating for me personally at times. But this, for me, is the only way this will actually work with the suppressor and the actual perks to go with it. So as a stealth class, this is definitely the best way to go. But stick this in your creator class. Let it have a go. Let me know exactly what you think about it. But coming up on my screen now is my subscribe button. Jump on that for me, guys. I've got lots of things going on as well as my stealth class setup series. And guys, if you could drop a like on this video, support my channel, it'd be even better. This is Nilly Lanston. I'll catch you later.